Hmm. Well, hello. <laughs> this is Bertie, the bottle puppet, and I'm going to show you how to make him. He's really simple, and you only need a few simple things that I'm sure you've got around your house. Isn't that right? Well, to make your bottle puppet, you need some really simple things. You need um, a bottle, an empty bottle. I've got an atomic bottle here. Um, you need some white glue or some PVA glue, paintbrush, you need some wool or a string or um, anything at all like that, maybe fur fabric, you need some paper, I've got some um, parcel paper, brown paper and also some tissue paper and you need a cork and some buttons. And then apart from that, all you need is some sort of shirt or a jumper, um, any type of fabric. And if you want, you can even add a little hat. Really simple. First thing you do is take your bottle and give it a good wash. And you can take any labels that might be on top. Um, take the little lid off because you're going to use that later. If you've got two of these, it's really handy. So there's my bottle all ready to go. So when I'm at that stage, I want to start putting the paper on. Now I've put brown paper on first just to make it really strong but you can use any type of paper. If you don't have anything like brown paper you can even use newspaper, anything at all. Um, and you want to rip it and the reason I'm ripping it instead of cutting it is that if you rip the paper then all the little edges all mould together much better. If you cut it you tend to get all the lines. So once you've got that um, all you need to do is use your PVA paint. Now, if you put a little bit of water into the PVA, it makes it go a little bit further and it also makes it a little bit easier to do. So, start on the front of your puppet, whatever side you decide on, paint some of the PVA on just like this and start putting the paper on. So once you've got it on, paint over the top of it and layer it up with another one and just keep going basically if you want to cover you can if you want you can cover the whole bottle but you can also just maybe cover the front half um, if you're going to put hair or um, a hat or something on the back of it but just keep building it up so you've got it nice and covered now make sure you overlap the bits of paper So once you've got a layer of the, black, uh, the, the brown paper or the newspaper, whatever you're using, then you want to go on to your tissue paper. Exactly the same thing. Tear your tissue, pa tissue paper, even, and place it over the top. Put your glue over the top of that and keep going. Just tip. In fact, what's really nice to do sometimes as well is if you want to use different colours and you get a really nice effect at the end, but whatever you've got really and if you don't have this type of tissue paper then use some toilet paper it works really well and you get a nice finish on that too so cover your whole head with that that's the very first thing you have to do okay once you've got it covered I've just done it quite quickly on here to show you then you can start to put your features on so I am using a cork here to be a nose. Now, if you didn't have a cork, you could use anything you wanted, but a cork is really handy. So I'm going to just, just uh, for quickness, I'm just going to put a little bit of Evil Stick glue on there. And let's see, and a bit on this side. A little bit here. And I'm going to pop the nose on. So there's my cork nose. And once I've got that, I'm going to put some eyes on. So I'm using lids that I took off the bottles. These are really good to make a little eye socket. So once again, a little bit of glue onto the lid. And pop it on. Now, if you're using white glue, it just takes a little bit longer. Um, or maybe you've got something like a glue gun you could use as well. Um, get some help if you're using that. Or the white glue is fine, it just takes a bit longer to do. So once you've got to that stage and you've got your eyes on, um, I'm going to put a couple of little buttons inside to be the pupil. So I'm going to put a little dot of glue inside each eye and going to pop just a little button on. I've got a whole box of buttons. Buttons are great to collect. Anytime that maybe something um, 
you're throwing something out or getting rid of it or if buttons fall off, remember to keep them because they're really great for things like puppet's eyes. I'm going to do two slightly different ones, it doesn't matter if they're the same or not. And I've got my eyes inside. So I've got one that I've got dry here, ready for the next stage. So here we are, I've got my nose and I have my eyes on and what you can then do is you can use some felted pens or some paint and you can put maybe a little you can put some maybe a little eyebrows or eyelashes you can use some ooh, all sorts of color on here just to give it a little bit more of expression you might you might want to put some big rosy cheeks on or anything you want just use your imagination and see what you come up with so I'll just do it quite simply just to show you there. So once you've got your head in this state with it all coloured and your eyes and your nose on, then you want to make some hair. Now, a really good way to make hair is to use some wool. And all you need to do is wrap the wool around into some loops and keep going. You can make it as thick as you want and use as many different colours as you want. You don't have to use one type of wool. Um, if you don't have wool, then maybe you've got some string. String is really good. And the good thing about string is you can also paint it up any colour that you want. And that should do me just now. So once you've got that, you need to cut it with your scissors, which are over here. We go in here and there, so we get that. So, chop the bit off that you want and you can fold it in half and take another piece of wool and just tie it together so it doesn't fall apart tie it together in the middle and there we go and you can chop through all your little loops Maybe chop through there and you have got an instant wig. Now you can do a few of those to thicken your hair up. You can do a few so you've got some around the front, around the back and you can also if you want maybe you want to make a little moustache well there's um, a piece of rope. I could stick that on there to be a moustache. I'm going to use a little bit of this again I think for my Bertie bottle. He's already decided he's called Bertie. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to make a moustache, I'm going to do it exactly the same way, and there we go, I've got my loops, I'm going to take another little piece, I'm going to put it together in the middle, and tie a knot in it, same again, cut through the little loops, I'll make this one a little bit shorter as well, cut through the loops, there we go. And I've got a handlebar moustache ready to put on him as well. And what I'll do then is I'm just going to glue that into position. I can put plenty of that white glue on and stick it into position and it'll be ready for the next day. So that's him with his hair and moustache on. I'm just going to take him to the hairdressers, give him a little trim. Um, I'm going to give him a little bit of fringe here, I think. There we are. And... I think he might need a little trim round here. He's nearly there. There we are. I think that's about him ready for the next stage. So, once you've got it exactly how you want it, then you're ready to put him together. Really simple. You don't need a rod or anything in the bottom because the bottom part of your bottle becomes your rod. So it means that you've got all the movement to move the head around for when you're animating him. And with the wool is great because you can also get a bit of extra movement in the puppet's hair. Right, so a shirt is really ideal. Um, don't go for something too heavy because um, it'll be really hard to attach up. Something nice and light. Maybe you've even got something like an old school shirt. That would work really well. Um, but a shirt or something with a sleeve so it could be a really lightweight jumper or something. I've got a shirt here which I'm going to use. Um, this one belongs to my daughter so I better not stick it but I'm going to put some tape on I've just got some tape here 
but um, you can use white glue if you're if you're keeping it permanent then you can put some white glue on or just like me you can use some tape um, I'm just going to put I'm going to just wrap it around itself and put that round just so I can show you um, I'm going to take this shirt up and put it here now if you're only good at sewing, you can even put a few stitches in there. That would hold it exactly in the place that you want it to be. But I'm going to do it really quick here just with some tape to show you. So that is Bertie with his shirt on. And you can see you're now going to use the arms. Now, a couple of ways to do this, but I'm going to, what I'm going to do just for the moment is I'm going to just button myself into this bit tight on me this shirt but I can guess the button is. Um, you can if you want fix some gloves to the end of each hand and it means that you can just slip your hand in but you can see I've just put the button round and then my hand becomes his hand. <laughs> oh yes my name Bertie you know oh yes I'm very very posh <laughs> Um, but like I say, if you want, you can put gloves on. So you can um, attach the glove inside one hand and then take your other glove. Any gloves will do. These are all gardening ones, but you can use um, some, some woolen ones or anything. And if you put a little bit of stuffing inside, then the hand will have a little bit of shape. So it'll look like the hand's there. And you can even take the hand and fix it maybe up here onto the shirt, just with a little stitch or a little bit of glue. And that will pad them out a little bit and if you want to take it a stage further then you can maybe put some shoulders in there or give them a little bit more shape now to do that um, all you need is maybe a piece of cardboard cut a hole in the middle and just uh, tape it on or you can use a piece of foam if you've got an old piece of foam but that is Bertie so you put your hand up inside the back of his body he sits over your arm and you can animate him this way so you can play around with how he works but basically you want to put all your energy through your puppet so always keep your eyes focused on your puppet on your puppet's eyes and you'll see where your puppet's looking mm. yes mm. lovely hair oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> tape gorgeous <laughs> and then you can practice um, finding a voice for him and then finding how you can work him. You can even have a conversation with him. You've got a new friend to play with. But I'm sure you're going to have lots of fun making him. Um, these are great, they're really simple. You can use any shape puppet, um, any shape bottle to make your puppet. And you can make maybe a whole range of different characters. Um, you can think of things that you can, different things you can use for a nose or for eyes. Um, just have a route around, find all sorts of bits and bobs. And you've got your very own bottle puppet. Really simple. Bye.